Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. Today we're doing something a bit interesting. Yes, about a month ago, I installed the Steeda Triac shifter in our S650 Mustang. This is the full race shifter. So we're gonna go to just, you know, like there's third gear straight up and then fourth. I mean, it's very direct. I mean, it feels very clicky. There's fifth, six. And I absolutely love it. I had it in two S550s and now one S650 and have really no complaints, but I got kind of a cool deal, a cool opportunity to try out an MGW shifter. So right off the bat, this video is not meant in any way, shape, form, or whatever to like bash one company or the other. This is basically just to highlight kind of my opinion on the two shifters now because we have owned the Steeda Triax three times and then once in the S650 guys ever since like 2015 and up, it's all the same. Things are a little better in the S650 as far as the transmission goes. OEM part, the OEM shifter that comes out of these cars is identical. Some internals have changed, I think a little bit more robust in the S650 MT82. But anyway, I just want to be able to bring guys a video explaining as detailed as possible my thoughts, opinions on both shifters because if you're searching for one or the other, this hopefully will help you. Top loader feel with the MGW uh, it is transmission mounted and most guys will probably say that that's their flavor, but the Cita Tri-X does some wonderful things body mounting uh, their shifter to the, the car and the transmission. I think it's going to be kind of a cool video, uh, a little bit of a comparison. We're going to get on the road real quick. I'm just going to run through some of my opinions over the last thousand or so miles on the S650, but I've got thousands and thousands of miles with the S550 with uh, running this shifter twice. And then we're going to come back to the garage and do a little bit of a swap and then do a little bit of a head-to-head -head comparison because they're both similar priced. Now, if you're looking for the Steeda version, head down in the video description. I've got discount codes to save you some money, and I think that uh, if you pick up the Steeda tracks, you're going to love it, because I certainly have. John Michael Morin, so thank you so much, giving me the opportunity to test out the MGW in this car versus the Steeda Triax. It's really going to help us put this video together properly as long as we can put forth a lot of detailed information. But having said all of that, let's fire this thing up and get on the road. Share some opinions. Right now we've got the street springs in it. Let's get on the road. Let's talk about it. Alright, so Steeda still have the up reverse lockout feature, that collar, that a lot of people don't want to give up. It's very clicky, notchy into gear, it's very direct. It definitely will save you from high RPM lockout. <laughs> what was that? Right off the bat though, the Steeda, uh, it does create some NVH. Now, in all fairness, I'm not running the, the shift boot on this. I didn't cut it up or modify it. I just have like the, uh, the sound deadening all around it. And it does a good job, but there is some added NVH uh, with the Steeda. And it's not a bad thing though. A lot of people, I think everybody will probably say that there's an NVH increase, but it's not a bad thing. I don't dislike it at all you kind of hear it's not like a whine and it's really only like a first and second gear So 
yourself to make the, the throws more, I guess, hard and direct. When you go to second and you just slam it up to third, the springs make it pop in the gear. I've been at war ripping the Steeda tracks out of the car. Uh, it went in very easy, had a little tough time getting it out. But anyway, so I've got the MGW and the Steeda side by side. Let's spin the camera, show you what it's all about and the differences because if you're spending money, you're going to want to see this. All right, so we got the MGW. This is the race shifter, the X Spec trim in its lowest height. So the short handle is like a 25 percent reduction and then of course you have the Steeda Triax which is a 30 percent reduction but going over some differences you can see that we got the legs the bridge and everything the transmission mount the MGW uh, to the MT82 transmission itself you guys know what these things are all about they don't use any of the stock components whatsoever everything is basically already assembled ready to go drop into the car the Steeda, you do have to replace or you do reuse some of the OEM parts like the pivot cup that goes inside here. Um, a couple other little things, but really not a whole lot. You can see there, that's where your shaft actually rides on this other plate. That way, when you have this shaft here of uh, those plastic or Delrin, whatever this is made out of nylon material <laughs> plates, um, it's definitely a huge improvement over stock. Um, you can see that on the MGW, they have a rubber core with some metal it's gonna uh, suck up a lot of the NVH the Steeda is all like one piece gives it a nice direct throw you know just something to think about this is definitely going to be a quieter shifter than this one but I don't think that I would fault either one for whatever I think that they're both cool in their own ways in their own rights this whole arm it keeps everything really tight in combination with this um, this back bracket here which has got like this really thick 
uh, polyurethane material and it does not allow a lot of like movement whatsoever so even though it's not transmission mounted it is extremely solid extremely solid, like night and day 1000% better than factory but now it's time to install this MGW and see if uh, there's going to be a difference or did I just waste my time and money doing this I don't know but let's find out guys we got the mgw installed i've cheated a little bit i drove like a mile down the road it's cool because i got to do some a little bit of b-roll and uh give some talking points to a little bit of the play a little bit of uh the first couple of seconds with it so uh, let's fire this car up and go for a ride and let's discuss anyway this is a used unit it was in an s650 so i imagine that they imagine the miles on it were low but so reverse guys if you have a problem getting to reverse you need to go to the gym and you know work on arms because uh yeah it's not that difficult so uh down and up just a little bit different um if you're like a teeny female i could you know maybe understand but i digress anyway first gear uh second gear third gear fifth gear or fourth gear fifth gear then sixth gear so i'll feel pretty good interesting before we actually start driving well we'll go ahead and take off i can discuss this while we're driving right off the bat the other one the steeda was like 30 percent reduction in throw right so this is supposed to be like 25 uh when i looked at the website uh per the spec that it is the height that everything so, so it's a race shifter mgw x spec uh with the short handle and it's i think it's like 25 reduction anyway this actually feels shorter like this way than the other one i i don't know what it is feels pretty freaking short i mean that no I'm, I'm yeah i think it is definitely got to be shorter it feels definitely short but you know the interesting thing is the other one had a lot of shift effort okay because it was body mounted all the polyurethane bushings and stuff like that uh this one actually does not take a lot of effort to shift gears uh, which is a very pleasant surprise because I thought it was going to be like really harsh, man. You know, we're going to really have to muscle this thing into gear. But no, uh, pretty easy. So the lateral movement left to right also in neutral is not, I mean, it's nothing. I mean, it's really nothing. Um, so has it been broken in with a couple of miles? Yeah, maybe sure. We could have that argument, but you know, versus a brand new out of the box unit. But uh, it's definitely a quieter quieter drive now in the car no more of that crazy startup noise um the all i hear is exhaust it's like oem the other one was bad because the other one was kind of fun too so some side to side movement play in gate in the gear um is that going to bother you probably not uh does it bother me yes i like the other one was very firm it was very direct and it was very mechanical clicking into gear this is too but the other one almost felt like it was i don't know well maybe a little bit more hardcore this seems like it's easier, which is not a bad thing, because if you're gonna daily the car, then this might be the option for you, and I do daily this car. But, as far as it being transmission mounted, we are never, never, never gonna miss a gear. So let's try out that second to third claim to fame. All you gotta do is push up, right? So let's come down. 
straight up that was pretty cool so got a little backfire out of the exhaust that was fun as far as the way that they both feel I don't know that's gonna be tough so this one feels really good really good uh, I do wish it was maybe a little bit I don't know I, I don't like the little plane this one you can't control that but that's not a shifter fault I gotta emphasize that's like a transmission thing but the Steeda, because it was body mounted with the urethane bushings and all that, you didn't get that. So it was kind of nice. It made it feel really mechanical. Um, this is just that's just a transmission play in here. But as far as the shifter goes, it's freaking very good. Very good. Very happy with it. So, so all right. Uh, a couple more things to mention. Um, do you feel a lot? more of the vibration in your hand when you're holding onto the shifter to be expected it's directly mounted to the transmission but i don't really care it doesn't bother me just don't hold on to the thing tightly and you'll be fine so when i first bought this car it had a lot of gear nibble so these 20 uh so these 2024s are a lot better uh than the sy50s they've revised some things in the transmission the shifter assembly itself is pretty much the same but uh, I did still have some gear nibble, and I was hoping that with the CETA unit would go away, it didn't. It was still there, um, and it was kind of annoying. So, just a transmission fault, not a shifter fault. But I gotta say that now with the MGW, it's gone. No more gear nibble going into gear, and I don't have a weighted knob on this thing either. It's not really that heavy, so things are only going to improve. But I'm so happy, so happy, not to feel that grittiness going into gear anymore that was such a pain in the butt but yep yeah, it's gone it's fixed thank you mgw appreciate it which one am i going to keep in the car eh. <laughs> flip a coin flip a coin if you want to save some money uh if you want to buy the Steeda, i mean go for it i did i've had three of them and i enjoyed it every single mile so um and if you want to save some money i've got the xander 5 promo code on Steeda's website so I'll go shop there, but MGW can't help you out. I don't have any discounts, so you're gonna have to spend full retail or whatever. But you know, uh, is it gonna be worth it for that price? Huh? That's the million dollar question, I guess. It's pros, Steeda, direct feel, mechanical. You can hear it click, click, click. It's really fun to drive with. Um, it's very like manly. Um, you do get some nvh Nita, i did hear that reverse lockout spring rattle on the shifter arm um from time to time and it was really freaking annoying um that's about the only downfalls i guess maybe it should be priced a little cheaper uh, compared to this i don't know but ooh, that feels good i like this um Okay, I'm impressed. For oh, all right. So second to gear. All right, I got something else to say. Downshifting um, with the other one because it was so heavy duty can be kind of a chore. This one just did it effortlessly. Downshifting like I'm just cruising around in traffic or I'm about to park, you know, uh, and run into the store here. So that's really kind of. That's 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 a big win for me. That's a big big win. I like hardcore, but I like to be able to live with what I'm driving too. So um, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video. It's just kind of a boring talking head piece. But if you're in between the two brands, I think flip a coin. Talk about the install real quick. So yeah, the install for the Steeda was definitely I think easier, easier. Um, the MGW is definitely more involved and took me quite a lot of time to install it. I did, was able to actually, with both of them, install it without removing the drive shaft or the exhaust. I just lowered the transmission down with the cross member bolts and got my hands up in there. So it's a lot of work, it's tight areas, but uh, yeah, you can definitely do it without removing your exhaust or um, pulling your drive shaft off. So, so what is your flavor? Are you in between the brands? Do you like them both? Um, 
what do you what's your pick i mean what's your experience with both shifters i mean maybe you've had one or the other or like i said both you know and let's uh have a dialogue discussion down in the comments down below let us know your thoughts opinions and i don't hate either one of them i like them both i'm torn but uh yeah anyway i'll leave it open ended on my end i like them both but let me know what you think in the comments down below i'll see you guys next video hopefully this helped somebody out you can really make this like a four hour conversation but anyway um yeah direct mounted versus body mounted let's let's talk about it